In VRL Studio, workflows can be defined visually. There are two flow types, data flows and control flows. First we create a data flow based application. Here you see an add integers object that provides just one method add. It's this window here. We can now add a second instance of add integers and create a data connection between the output of the first and one input of the second add method. Here we have a second instance of add integers and we drag a connection from the output to the first input of the second add method. And here you see that this wire expresses uh, that there is a data connection between those two objects. I enter some values here and also here and if I invoke uh, the second add method then VRL will check the data dependencies and call all methods that are necessary to compute the correct result. In this case it should invoke the first add methods before invoking the second one. I click invoke now and let's see what happens. First call, second method call. Sometimes, however, it is necessary to define all method calls explicitly. To demonstrate this, I will add another object. This time object has one method that is time dependent. If I call it once, it returns an integer. I call it again, it returns a different integer. In this case, the fact that this method is time dependent cannot be considered by VRL as the interface of the time object does not expose this dependency. In this case control flows must be used. We can now create a control flow that contains the time object and the add integers object. We delete the second add integers object and we create a control flow connection by dragging the control flow from the stop object to the time object. And from the time object we drag a connection to the add integers object. And then we create a connection between add integers and stop. And now we create a data connection between this uh, time dependent method and the first parameter of the add method. If we click on start now, all methods will be executed in the specified order. Click start. And here you see what happens. Both methods are executed. We can click again. Now 
now let's compare this uh, to a purely data flow based um, application. I remove all data flow and control flow connections from start and stop. And now if I execute add integers, you will see that the first method of the time object is not executed. I can execute it manually and then execute add again but it won't happen automatically. Now let's create the control flow again. Here you see that all methods are executed each time I press start.